All right, in this video, I just want to talk about identities for sums and differences of angles. And all it says is if you have sine of x plus y, and you get sine x cosine y plus cosine x sine y. If you have sine of x minus y, well, then you get sine x cosine y minus cosine x sine y. So kind of whatever the sine is, it stays the same. For cosine, though, it kind of switches. If you have cosine of x plus y, you get cosine x times cosine y minus sine x sine y. And if you have cosine of x minus y, it says you get cosine x times cosine y plus sine x times sine y. <coughs> so let's use these identities maybe just to evaluate um, a trig value here. So suppose we want to figure out, uh, you know, we want to figure out the correct identity. Suppose somebody said, what is sine of 75 degrees? Well, the idea is one way to evaluate this without a calculator at least if you know the values that go with, you know, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, etc. We can write 75 degrees simply as 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. And now it says I have sine of something plus something, so I'm going to use this first identity that says I would get sine of the first thing, which is going to be 30 degrees, times cosine of the second, which is going to be 45 degrees. And then since it's a, a plus sign, we keep our plus sign. Then we write cosine of the first angle, which is 30 degrees. And we multiply that by sine of the second one, which is 45 degrees. And now we can simply uh, you know, uh, evaluate this. So recall that sine of 30 degrees, let's see, uh, sine of 30 degrees, I believe, is going to give us 1 half. Um, cosine of 45 degrees is going to be square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 degrees is going to be square root of 3 over 2. And again, sine of 45 degrees will be root 2 over 2. Well, <clears throat> we could always, uh, I guess we've got common denominators already. Um, this would be root 2 over 4. Uh, we could multiply square root of 3 times the square root of 2 uh, and make a uh, that into square root of 6, again over 4. And now we could simply write this as a single fraction, the square root of 2 plus the square root of 6 over 4. Uh, not really much else we can do in this case, can't really break down the square root of 6. We definitely can't add, you know, the square roots together. So in this case, I would, uh, I think I would just leave it right here. So just kind of a, a clever way to figure out how to evaluate other trig values. Uh, by using these identities. Also, too, certainly these identities are more useful. Uh, you know, come in, come in, uh, you use them in more places, certainly, than just to evaluate, you know, uh, you know, trig angle or trig, trig functions at different angles. Uh, so don't think, you know, this is just an exercise and, you know, never use this identity again. It's kind of pointless. We've got a calculator. Certainly these identities do come into play into other places.